Hey guys, welcome back to another Hypixel API project video. In this video, I'm going to be going over a quick little project I did do on stream. If you ever want to check out any of my live stream VODs, I have a playlist over here on my YouTube channel that you can go check out um, and watch uh, all the VODs uh, after they've already um, been played live, of course. This is a small little project that I did. Uh, on stream, it took a few minutes and it's just a very simple challenge scraper that's dynamic. So it calls the API and it scrapes all the challenges and then makes a list of them. And it also splits out the possible rewards from challenges. Uh, that said, uh, I'm going to go into explaining uh, how it works, but first I need to explain the dependencies. So we are using uh, async requests which means that we're using G requests and we are using JSON because we're using Hypixel API. Uh, if you don't already know this endpoint, so if you don't already know resources challenges, I already have a video in my Hypixel API tutorial playlist that you can go check out, um, basically telling you uh, exactly how everything works with this endpoint so that you're not lost. And uh, that should remain up to date, at least for Quite some time because I don't think uh, Hypixel updates those APIs that much in, in resources. That said, uh, we start by setting up some basic bins and we set up our URL. So it's api.hypixel.net forward slash resources forward slash challenges. Uh, we set up our async call. We go through all the requests, but there's only one uh, response, so it doesn't really matter. We load it into JSON. We get the uh, success just to make sure that it's successful and that we did get the intended response back. This is all basic stuff up until now. Um, straight into the algorithm, this is very simple to my achievement scraper, if you did check that out. Um, so we're going through all the game modes and challenges because it responds with the list of game modes. So we go through all the game modes and then for every challenge in the game modes, we go ahead and check out um, the, uh, we, we go to the challenges and we append the challenge name to our list because uh, we only really care about the name, not the entire challenge object. And then we also go through and get the um, possible rewards. So if the reward type is not already in possible rewards, add to possible rewards. Very simple algorithm. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what this looks like by opening up my command prompt here. If we run this, you'll see there's a bit of a block of text. Um, but a lot of this is just like... Not all the debugging stuff, but just like if you want, and you can you can build off of this. You can sort, you can um, filter, you can do anything you want. This is just to give you a basis um, to build off of. So as you can see, the top array here, there's actually only one reward, and this is um, multiplied experience reward. There's no other reward you can get from challenges. There's only one reward you can get from any challenge on Hypixel currently, and it is the multiplied experience reward object. And then here, you uh, following you can find a full list of every single uh, challenge that you can currently find uh, and complete, I guess, on Hypixel uh, Network. Anyway, this is just a short video explaining how all this worked. If you, like I said, if you have any questions, you can comment down below uh, or you can hop in the Discord if you want quick response times. If you ever want to sponsor my videos, you can check out my Patreon down below uh, if you want to take a look at that. And then as always, make sure to leave a like if you learned anything or if you enjoy the video. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all my tutorial videos, with all my walkthroughs, with all my little projects that I've been making. I've got some other exciting projects coming soon. Uh, so make sure that uh, you're subscribing if you want uh, wanting to participate in those. And then obviously turn on bell notifications if you want to like participate in like live streams and know when I'm live because I do go live at least two or three times a week now. Uh, hopefully it stays somewhat like that. Uh, anyways, that's been it for this Hypixel API project video.